Saturday. We are headed off to the gym. Just get a little workout in. It's kind of cloudy and shit today. I'm hoping that the weather becomes better. It's been so iffy here in Barcelona. A nice little workout in, get some breakfast, and then start the day. But yeah, let's go have a fit little morning. Well, I just filled out my ballot that I'm going to be sending in for my vote for the US election because even though I'm an American living abroad, like I still very much have to file tax in the US, so representation, you know, taxation, the whole rules. And plus, I still think my vote matters in terms of what affects my family and my friends. And I still want to spend time in the US and maybe one day I'll be back, who knows? Not sure, maybe that's in the far future. But still, I think it's super, 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 super important to vote as an American living abroad. So I actually live in New Jersey and I can do it by email or fax, which is really nice. So I print out all the forms, I fill out my ballot, and then I just need to scan all the documents and send it to the email address that they gave to me. And yeah, I got to vote from abroad, so I think it's super important. So I'm getting that done and now I'm gonna get ready and Harry and I are gonna try a new coffee shop. I try to try, I try to try. I try to go to a new coffee shop like at least once a week because there's so many in Barcelona to try and I'm gonna have a nice cup of tea, maybe a chai latte if I'm feeling, you know, adventurous. I don't wanna say adventurous, but it's a lot of sugar. So if I'm feeling I really want it, or maybe a little pastry. And then yeah, start my day, I have some errands to do and we're gonna work on propagating. I'm gonna show you this pothos right here you see me from here this pothos is literally to the ground so we're gonna snip it and going to put it into new jars and then make some new ones because i also want to hang two in our bedroom so why not just use it from the ones that we already have they're super super long but yeah so now time to wash my hair and shower because i was at the gym and today was a sweaty day so i'm gonna go favorite stores here are Zara Home. The home stuff in Zara is so good, but I need some of their soaps. They smell amazing. And maybe pick up a candle. We'll see what else I have. But yeah, I head Zara Home and get some home stuff and I'll show you around. It is so good here. Zara Home is one of my favorites because it has such a modern, chic, kind of neutral vibe to it. The Christmas section was unbelievable. I wish I had a big house to host people, but I feel like Zara Home is such good quality without being overly expensive and you get such good stuff. Honestly, I love shopping here so much. Well, I got myself from Zara Home. It's so well priced as well, which is crazy because the stuff is really, really nice. And then they start decorating Passage de Gracia, which you can see all the lights behind me. It lights up so nice for Christmas. So it's like end of November, it'll get all lit up. I won't see it until I get back here mid-December, but I'm really excited for all the Christmas lights. But yeah, got the goods. And now I'm gonna head home to get the stuff in the store and get the frame to hang up some more pictures at home. But yeah, just some runners. Alright, 
So I picked up the frame and I got all of our pictures. We haven't taken some in so long, but we have all of these Polaroids and I have a bunch in our hallway all lined up and I'm gonna tape them in here and make it look really cute and nice. Um, I love having them around the house. They're just kind of nice moments. And I haven't actually taken my Polaroid camera out in so long. And this reminds me that I need to actually do it more. But when we first got the Polaroid camera, I was incessant on taking pictures. So I feel like there are some pictures in our other frames and it's not that I don't love them, but some of them like we can move around or maybe replace. So I think I might actually pull one of the other frames and get it side by side. And I might swap some pictures in and out because this stack of pictures is like Harry's parents coming to visit. Um, we were in the UK and then a bunch of them are from when my family came to visit. And I feel like we need to kind of distribute them a bit. So I'm gonna grab one of the other frames where it's not just like all family in one. It's like a mix of family and friends and different trips and stuff. And then put the other one with some of those photos in there. So I'm gonna go grab the other frame really fast. Okay, so I also realized that the frame that I got, this one is very different than the one that I intended to get which is this one, which looks, I mean, they're not terribly dissimilar, but this one's so much nicer than this one. And I'm just gonna hope that Harry doesn't realize um, <laughs> that I actually bought it because I can't replace, like I can't go back and return it. This is so much nicer. That's why I like it, because this one came with a border. Fuck. I knew I should have came home and took a picture of it before I went and bought it. But I was out and about and I was like, ugh, I don't really have the time for that. The reason I didn't buy this one last time is because this one comes with like a really nice inserted border that it's all kind of sitting in between. And the one I just got, does it come with any border? We're gonna see how it comes out. That's all we can do <laughs> is hope and pray. The problem that I realized is that this also has like a border behind it that I'm not gonna be able to hide. Can I make this work? Ah, <sighs> guys, what a failure. Can I might just put this other frame under the bed and pretend like I'd never bought it. Oh well, well at least we updated this one. This one looks good. So I'll put this one back on the wall. And then this lovely guy is gonna go under the bed. And Harry will find out about it if he watches this video. And if he doesn't ask me about it, then I know that he didn't watch my recent video vlog that I put up. All right, gonna head this back up. That was a fail. Now, I think I'm just gonna work on editing my next YouTube video, which is gonna be talking about friendships abroad. And then, yeah, gonna get ready because I have a girls' night tonight. So we are going to dinner and we're gonna get some drinks and I'm really, really excited. So I need to get some work done because we are being productive and not making dumb decisions like this, but yeah. All right. Somehow my Saturdays always go by so freaking fast and I'm like, what happened? Where to go? I don't understand. So again, that happened this Saturday, of course. And so now it's time to get ready for, I think also we have an early dinner, which doesn't ever happen in Barcelona. I don't know the last time that I ate dinner at seven o'clock. That is actually pretty crazy here, but we're all foreigners. So I guess, you know, whatever. So now we're getting ready for the girls dinner. We're going to a place called Delisima, which is down by the wharf side, down by the W, and it's supposed to be really nice. I think it's like Italian, and apparently they have like live music that they play while you're there, and it's supposed to be like quite a fun dinner experience. And last time the girls were all together, we went to Boca Grande, which I definitely recommend for people. And 
they have Boca Chica, which is their bar right on top. And we had a really, really good time. The food was so good and it turns into a little vibe afterwards. I have no idea what tonight's going to be like. I feel like that one was different because we didn't have dinner until literally 1030. And then at that point, you're just kind of going out. This one's so much earlier that I just don't foresee us being out late. But those were my famous last words. So I'm trying to not have too much to drink tonight because, yeah, I just want to feel okay tomorrow. And obviously, I do really need to work a bit tomorrow. So we're going to be productive, hopefully. But yeah, getting ready for that. But before we go to dinner, I'm really excited because I've been here before, but I haven't been in a bit and it'll still be light outside when we go. But we're going to the W for some drinks and they have a restaurant up on the, I think it's like the 26th floor and you can go and have cocktails up there. So we're going to go have a drink up at the W and have a nice view over Barcelona and then dinner is right there. Sadly, from San Antonio, where I live, getting to Barceloneta or down by the W takes like 45 minutes because I have to literally go to the other side of town to then go down on the public transport here. So we gotta, we gotta move, we gotta go fast. All right, we are ready for dinner with the girls. I didn't even mean to do an all black fit, but sometimes it happens. We have a little color. Papa Fred, I'm already late. No freaking surprise there. All right, let's go. Well, 45 minutes to get to the W, which is crazy, but it's just so far away from everything, which is one of the reasons I would never stay at the W if I was visiting Barcelona, because it has no proximity to like anything besides the beach. But we made it, so now we're walking. W is behind me. Walking to meet the girls, and I'll show you this view. It's insane. So once all the girls got there, we realized that the Noakes bar up on the 26th floor actually wasn't open yet. So we headed across the street to Azul, which had this nice terrace bar. And we had a glass of wine before we're heading to Bellissima, which is this Italian restaurant. It is actually so pretty inside. But one of the best parts about it is I have a show during dinner. So they have people singing and dancing. But since it was around the Halloween time, it was Beetlejuice themed, which was quite funny because People were dressed in Beetlejuice and Halloween costumes singing opera around, but the food was really good. I had this amazing ragu and one of the girls had the cheese wheel, the cacio e pepe, but here you can see them dressed up as the Beetlejuice characters. We were laughing so much and yeah, we had a really great time, had lots of limoncello shots and just enjoyed the performances of Beetlejuice. <laughs> said it was such a nice Saturday in Barcelona. I honestly always love going out with the girls, although we went out at 7 p.m. for dinner reservations, which is like unheard of in Spain. You never go that early. And I was like, we're going early. I'll get home early. Still didn't get home till about 2.30 in the morning because Valisima actually turns into a like bar with a DJ. We'll dance at the end. So we had a lot of fun time. And then we went to another bar in the Gothic Quarter, which was like inside a cave, which was quite cool to see. 
So we definitely had a good time, but today is Sunday and we're gonna have a nice relaxing Sunday at home. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Saturday vlog of Barcelona. I definitely have more vlogs taking on the city and just showing you a day in my life. But if you guys like this video, if you like the content, if you like seeing life abroad, stuff about working online, making friendships abroad, just life in your 30s, trying to figure it all out, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. Come join this amazing community that I love so much. If you have any questions, always drop them in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram. I'm always here to chat with you guys and I'll catch you guys next video. Bye.